I was probably about six years old. I do remember my mom being pregnant, and at that same time, my mom had a stroke. Soon after that, she gave birth to my sibling. Because of her illness, she wasn't able to care for that baby and put the baby up for adoption. She came home, and we never spoke about it. I just was floored when I found out, not only that I have a half-brother, but then finally finding out that it was real. My adopted parents offered to help me find my birth family. Paul had made contact with our mutual cousin using my heritage DNA site, and they figured out that I was Paul's half-brother. Using DNA technology, I think, is fantastic. As an adoptee, that opened new doors for me. It's good to, it's good to finally, after 50 years, yeah, yeah. 50 years, huh? You never imagined that that would happen. No, after, not, no not even. After, after such a long time. And when we first started talking, you know, I was like, yeah, I want to go up today. <laughs> I'm extremely excited to learn more about our family. Well, I wanted to give you this picture of mom. She was a wonderful, stunning woman. I do believe my mom is happy that we finally have connected. We're making up for the 50 plus years that we were separated. We're gonna do our best to keep her memory alive. Meeting my brother, Paul, means the world to me. If I could have even wrote in the happy ending myself, I don't think it would have turned out as well as this has.